friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and my sinking funds for the third and fourth week of july so i do get paid monthly and i've decided to stuff my envelopes bi-weekly just to like keep me motivated keep me on budget for my spending all that good jazz so i will be showing y'all what i have left over from weeks one and two and then we'll dive into stuffing for the last two weeks of the month so this is my wallet. It is an A7 Moturn planner that is linked down below if you are looking for one. Um, I start by just always pulling out my coins and adding it to my coin jar. I save them up and then once it's full, I'm gonna cash it in. We're about three quarters of the way full in this jar, so that is exciting. All right, so going into my envelopes, we have groceries here and there is a little bit of money left in there. So I have $5 left in my grocery category, which is really great. Um, my going out category, which is for like eating out and like drinking out or whatever. I have $6 left in going out, so we'll pull that out. And then in spending, I had one, two, three dollars left. So three dollars left in spending, which is just for like whatever I wanna spend money on. And then fun, I did spend all of it. So that has nothing left in it. So that is what I have left. Let's count it up and see the total. We have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars left over from the first two weeks, which is honestly more than I usually have left over. So that's exciting. Um, and I will be stuffing this in my envelopes in somewhere, like in some envelope that I want to stuff. I'm not sure where yet, so I'll just leave that here for now. So now this is the stack of money I'll be stuffing today. It should be $668. So let's count and see. We have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 480, 490, 500, 510, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 610, 615, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, and 68. So $668 is what we are working with today. And I'm just going to lay this out. I'm gonna switch it up and put the bills up top and see how I like that today. Just going back to the roots of when I just put cash on my table and didn't use a cash tray. I've been really enjoying that recently. All right, and then we'll leave the rollover money just over here and I'll stuff that at some point. So we're gonna start with my wallet and we're gonna start with groceries. And today I'm gonna add $150 for the last two weeks, which is $75 a week. And we're gonna do that in two 50s, two 20s and a 10. So we have 50, 100, 120, 140 and 150. So that's good. Put that in there. Going out is going to get $80, which is $40 a week. We're gonna do three 20s and two 10s. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 for the two weeks, which is great. Spending, we are going to do $50. So I'm just gonna do two 20s and a 10. 20, 40, 50. 100, Fun money is going to get $40, and I'm going to do a 20 and two tens. So 20, 30, 40. $40 in fun. And that is it for my wallet. So that is all stuffed up and ready to go for the last two weeks of July. Next, we'll go into my cash envelopes for my cash spending. Adventures, oh, I forgot actually. My wallet, I keep forgetting my giving envelope is in here. And we are going to be adding a dollar to that today. So 
So let's see what we've got in here now. We have five, six, seven dollars in giving in my wallet. And all the envelopes you see are available in my Etsy shop. I do make them myself, so you can check that out down below if you're interested. Um, Adventures will get a dollar today though. So we have 20, 30, 31, and 32 dollars in adventures for, you know, adventures in my city and just like bebopping around town. That's what that is for. My boyfriend's name is Colin and he is getting ten dollars today. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars in his envelope just for anything I want to spend on him or with him. Clothing is next and we are adding five dollars today. So we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, and 38 dollars in clothing. And it really bothers me when things aren't like in groups of five, but we're just gonna deal with that. So $38 there. Electronics will get $5 today. So now we have 20, 30, 35, 40, and 45 dollars in electronics. So about halfway to my new Mac charger that I will need. I've been talking about that for a while. My entertainment category is for just all things entertainment and that is getting five dollars today. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, and 65 dollars in entertainment. So this is like if I want to buy a ticket to a concert or you know something fun I have like a set sinking fund for that or cash envelope for that. Fitness and wellness today is getting a ten dollar bill. So now we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 75 dollars in fitness and wellness. Just great. Very glad to have this category. I use it a lot and I'm letting it grow right now. Um, gas, I did spend money out of gas. So the end of the first two weeks I have seven dollars left and we are going to let this roll over because the summer is a lot more driving, gas prices are higher, all of that. So we're going to roll this over into the next two weeks and I'm going to add forty five dollars today. So I'll do two twenties and a five for that. So now in gas, we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, and 52 for the rest of July. Hoping that that is enough. Gifts is going to get $5. And this is just for any gifts that I don't already have a sinking fund for, for like other people as they come up. So I have 10, 15, 20, and $21 in gifts right now. Next up is household, and in household I'm going to give it $10. So this is for like toiletries, things around my house, all of that. So we have 20, 30, 40, and $45 in household, which is good. I'm glad to see this one growing. I usually spend it like every week, so <laughs> I'm glad I have not been doing that. And then my, my envelope for me is going to get $10, so now I'll have 15 in there for myself. My medical envelope is my flexible spending account, and that's why it's all in prop money. And I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 402, and 403 left on my flexible spending card for the rest of the year. Um, I do have a dentist appointment coming up, so I'll probably have to use some for that. My self-care envelope is getting a five, and that's for like haircuts and things for taking care of myself. And it has 10, 20, 25, and $30 right now. That is good. These bills are really not the best. I've heard some people iron their money on YouTube to like make it feel crisper. Well, you let me know in the comments if y'all iron your money. I have never done that um, because probably just because I'm too lazy, but I also really appreciate the effort that other people are putting in. So let me know if you've done that. Um, last category in here is shopping and it's getting $5. So now it has 10 and shopping. And then I do have this rollover money and I'm trying to decide if I want to put any of it in here. Let's see. 20, 30, 31, 32. So I could put the three ones in here to get it to 35. Or I know clothing was off too. 
that has 20, 30, 35, 36, 38. So that only needs two dollar bills. So let's do that. Let's add two to clothing. So now we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40 in clothing just to get it back to like rounded numbers or multiples of five. And then I just gift that again. 10, 15. No, that one's fine. Thinking gas is where I'm gonna put the last one dollar bills. But yeah, let's do gas. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, and let's just add these last two dollar bills. So we'll have 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, and 4. $54 in gas. I just have a feeling I'm going to fill up twice before the end of the month. So anything will help with that. Okay, I'm going to save these two fives and see what we do with those later. Next up are my sinking funds. And we are going to start with birthdays. And this is my A6 bundle that is available on my Etsy shop. And I have definitely perfected the design for this. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, so for my boyfriend's birthday is what we are stuffing first. And I do believe we will fully fund this today. So the goal for his birthday is $200. So we're adding five today. And now we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195, and $200 for his birthday, which is great because it is in early August. So I'm starting to get ready to buy things for that. And now we are fully funded. Um, my friend Bree's birthday has $10, $15, dollars and we are not stuffing that today. My dad's birthday for, in October is fully funded with $30. And then my birthday, which is like just treating myself or having money to spend around my birthday, is getting $10 today. So now we have $10, $25. And I think the goal is like $40 for this. Yeah. So we have $25 out of $40 for that saved. And then my brother's birthday is the new savings goal. So we are going to add our first $5 bill for his birthday today. His birthday is in December and so is my mom's. So they will be the last dedicated birthdays that I need to stuff for. For the year 2021. So now birthdays is all stuffed. Holidays is next. And we have... The 4th of July, which has passed, so I think I'm going to remove this divider now. And we do have a Black Friday in here, which we are stuffing today. And we are going to add a $10 bill to that. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, $85 in Black Friday. And the goal, I believe, is 100. So that is good. And I might stuff more than 100 if I want to, but the minimum is 100. And then my anniversary with my boyfriend has $20. That is in December, so we have time to stuff that later. So now holidays are all good to go. And we can put these back in here. Planner is next, and that is getting $5 today. So now in planner we have $10 because I did buy some work planners, and that depleted this again because I'm gearing up for the academic year to start again. My subscriptions envelope is just getting this last dollar bill here. So we have 20, 21, and $22 in subscriptions. Next is vacation, which is going to get $10. So let's add that in. And then we have 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, and 155 in vacation which is good because I am going to take a small road trip at the end of the month and I might have to dip into this if I don't have enough in my spending. Volleyball is going to get $20 and I just paid a new registration fee, which is why I have so little money in here. But now we are rebuilding it for the next season and we have 20, 21, 22, 23, and $24 in volleyball. So that is good. Weddings and Babies is going to get $5 today. So this is just for when friends get married or have kids. I have money set aside for their parties and things and their gifts. So I have 10, 15, 20 in this envelope now. 
slowly rebuilding after June weddings hit. So that is good. And then the last one in this binder is one week ahead, which is going to get $10 today. So I'm getting one week ahead on my spending because I get paid monthly and on five week months, it really is hard to like pay for groceries and things. So I like to get slowly saved to be one week ahead on my spending. So we have 100, 150, 160, 170, 175, 180. And so 150 of that is for August and the rest of it is for the next month that will be five weeks, which I think is maybe November or something. So that is it for this binder. And now we're going into the last binder, which is Big Blue, which I think I'm just going to rearrange here. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with my rollover $10 here, but we will determine that in a minute. So first up is Car Maintenance, which is going to get $20 today. And this is one of my A5 bundle options that comes with an A5 pouch and like sub envelopes for subcategories. So for me, I have deductible saved for my car maintenance, which is $250 in case I get in an accident. I have $100 for my next oil change saved up. And then I have my emergency fund for my car, which is what I'm working on next. And eventually I'll save for next year's car tags. So today we are going to add a $20 bill. So now we'll have $40 in my emergency fund. And the goal is to build this up to around $1,000. That would be lovely. But if I don't get to that by the end of the year, then I'm going to start saving for car tags in January to get me ready for that. So that is car maintenance. In total now, we have $390 once I add in today's 20. So that is great. This is another one of my A5 bundle options on my store. It comes with dividers instead of envelopes. And this one is for Christmas, which is getting $40 today. So my parents, I saved $100 for their gifts for my mom and my dad. For my brother and his wife, I saved $100 for their gifts, $50 each. And my boyfriend, I have 50, 70, 90, and I think the goal for him is 200 or 100, I can't remember. Let's just, hmm, I think it's just 100, 50, 70, 90, so only $10. Let's see if I can make change somewhere. I might be able to in my friend's wedding. So my friend's wedding will be the next envelope we stuff. So let's just see if there's some change in here that we can use. If not, I know my other binders have it. Um, let's see. I need to take some of this to the bank anyway. No. 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 This one is a no-go for change. So I will pull out one of my other envelopes. Let's see if we can add... I need two tens. But there's some in here. Yes, so we'll put in a 20. And we'll take out two tens, so 20, 40, 60, 75, okay. Good, good. So for my boyfriend for Christmas, we are gonna add in $10. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100 for him. And now we can move on to another category, assuming that I was only gonna save $100 for him. So for other people, I'm going to start saving money for other people's gifts. And that's where we're gonna put these $30 here. I have like two or three friends that we exchange gifts. So I think I wanna get like $100 in here just to have some flexible money. So right now we'll have 30 to start us off there. And eventually I'll save for Christmas events and travel. And those will be the last categories I save for. So that is Christmas. So in total for Christmas, we have $330 after today. And the goal is somewhere around 500. So we're at 3.30 now, which is great. Now we're on to my friend's wedding, which is going to get $40 today as well. And she is getting married in Texas in October and we fully funded travel for flights. Yes, we did. Okay. We fully funded lodging with 150. 
We fully funded hair or nails and tan, and we fully funded hair and makeup. So now we're working on my spending money, which is like food and alcohol and entertainment. So the goal for this is 125 and we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. So we just need a 20 left in here. And now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 125. And so this one is fully funded now as well, which is awesome. And then our last category is miscellaneous money, which is $50 for their wedding gift. And then I want to get to $100 to have some extra flexibility. So we're going to add $20 to this today. So now we have $70 of the $100 in miscellaneous. So in total now, we've saved after today $1,020 for her wedding. And the goal is $1,050, I think, to fully fund this. So next cash stuffing for her wedding or the one after that will be fully funded. So yay. And then finally is my Texas trip. So I'm going for her wedding and then I want to stay for a while afterwards. So I'm just stocking up money for that trip. And the goal right now that I'm working on is just for lodging. And the goal is um, around $400 and we have 320 now and we're adding a 50 today. So now we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 360, and 370. So we have 370 saved so far for this trip to Texas and for lodging. And that once we fully fund that, we can move on to all of these other categories. And I've really got to focus to be able to finish saving for this in time for the trip. My student loans is last. It's not getting any money today, um, but we do have $70 in there to pay off my student loans if the government decides not to forgive loans at the end of the year. So now I still have these $10 for rollover and I want to figure out where to put that. I definitely want to put them in my cash envelopes, I do believe. So let's see what I have coming up. It is my boyfriend's birthday soon, so maybe we'll add five to his envelope just to have some more cushion. So we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, and 23 for him. And then let's add five to another category. There we go. I'm thinking we should just add it to my category because that's like, yeah, let's do it to mine. Five for him, five for me. So we have 10, 15, 20 dollars for myself. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and are enjoying my bi-weekly cash stuffings. I'm really enjoying it because I get to stuff more money each time I stuff and I have one less video I edit every week which makes me have more time to concentrate on um, planning for future videos as well as working more on my Etsy shop and being able to sleep more at night which is nice because before I was just you know struggling to get everything done in the week so yeah that is all I have for y'all today and I do have a giveaway coming up I'm waiting to get something in the mail I should have it in the next two days so I'm hoping that my next video or the video after that will be the giveaway video so if you have not already subscribed please go ahead and do that because you will have to be subscribed to my channel to enter the giveaway so until then, I will um, be chugging away and trying to stay on budget, trying to have a few no spend days in there, but um, I'll definitely check in with y'all in my next stuffing and I hope y'all have a great week. Thank you for being here and supporting me. I appreciate y'all so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.